Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. It's kind of a humid start to the day. We have a 65 degree air temperature and a dew point that matches that at 65. So the combination of temperature and dew point bringing 100% relative humidity. That means that there is the potential for some patchy fog out there this morning. Watch for that. I don't think it'll be widespread. I don't think it'll be a big problem. East wind blows now at about three. It's a light wind and we will develop a sea breeze today. That sea breeze will push all of our shower and thunderstorm activity, such as it is, into inland areas. I don't think we'll see a lot of thunderstorms around, but we could see a pop or two of lightning as we head into the afternoon. 68 degrees, Mayaka City, 67 in Parish, Bradenton at 68, so is Lakewood Ranch. Sarasota at 65, Inglewood 69, 69 in Venice, and Longbow Key comes in at 70 degrees. So we're starting off the day about where we did yesterday. We'll get to about 67 officially by 7 a.m as dawn breaks on the sun coast. We'll head up to about 80 by lunchtime under mostly sunny skies. I don't think we'll see much in the way of any kind of showery activity having started at that time by about two o'clock or so. Maybe the first few showers begin to form in inland areas. The coast still stays clear and by three o'clock I think they'll become a little bit more numerous in inland areas with the temperature topping out at around 82. Clouds will build a little bit in inland areas near the coastline. I think we'll have more sunshine. And then as we head into the 7 o'clock time frame, all the showers that we might develop will start to wind down. And again, they'll be in mostly inland areas along the coastline will stay clear. So the future cast kind of spells that out for you. We'll develop this southeasterly wind flow switches to perhaps a southerly and eventually southwesterly wind. We pick up a few showers in inland areas. Those showers generally drift away from our coastline, which stays clear. And as we head into tomorrow morning, it should be a beautiful start to the day with temperatures in the mid 60s, climbing to 70s pretty quickly. Titan radar not showing a drop of rain around the peninsula. We do have some showers back to the west. That is part of a frontal boundary, which is producing wide scale possibilities of severe weather today. We'll talk about where that is. Titan radar quiet. There's our area of low pressure. It's basically right around that low where the severe weather threat is located. And as that low moves off to the north and to the east, the frontal boundary itself kind of falls apart with scattered showers along that front developing and moving in advance of the front. We'll see small chances of rainfall with that frontal passage tomorrow evening. Mostly sunny today, a few inland showers, and then that front brings lower humidity after it moves through and high pressure builds in. I think you'll notice the lower humidity values. There's our threat of severe weather. It is an enhanced risk for areas of the Ohio Valley down into the front range. So we'll probably see some severe weather uh, take place in the form of large hail tornadoes and gusty winds in that location. For us, uh, nothing like that as that front gets closer. Southwest wind at about 10 knots becoming lighter as we head into the overnight. And the forecast calls for a daytime high of around 82 today. 80 tomorrow with a few more clouds around as that front approaches. The front moves through and we lower our relative humidities. Consequently, we get cooler nighttime temperatures. About 63 Thursday into Friday and 83 on Friday as we head into the weekend. Lots of sunshine, maybe a few passing clouds on Sunday and a slight chance of showers with the next front that moves through and gives us a little lower humidity to start next work week. Back to you.